try to define civilization, um, I'm just going to kind of describe it. It seems like it started because of um, a fear of death. Um, death was seen as losing, uh, and life, therefore, was uh, viewed as some kind of a competition. Um, nature was the battleground, and uh, part of this this game is to accumulate as much value from nature uh, as you possibly can um, and do whatever it takes along the way to prevent your neighbor from getting more than you and uh, you know on the face of it this seems like a, well, a pretty terrible culture a pretty terrible system but you know we kinda cover it up with a lie and the lie of civilization or at least of capitalism is that uh, if we all compete with one another some invisible hand magically guides us into the future magically allows us to make progress to better ourselves uh, we believe that lie and so we don't really have um, you know a, a conscience chirping to us on our shoulder you know always about how we're selfish and and uh you know i think gary actually in mentem he uh he's constantly you know personifying this conscience it's like i don't even know gary's personality all i know is his his conscience the part of him that feels guilty and that suffers that's all that really speaks uh, and so he's obviously expressing exactly what the problem is. Gary is the symptom of civilization. Uh, and so how do we heal that? We can say, you know, it's the system, it's all this culture, it's this object out there that we have to walk away from or beat down or, you know, dislodge from our mind. Uh, to, to try to distance, it, distance ourselves from it, though, and say it's, it's the system, it's the system. We need to fix the system. Uh, we need to focus inward, maybe, uh, and see that we create the system based on our intentions and our thoughts, and there's nothing but a bunch of people with intentions creating what we call a system, which is really just this abstract idea. Uh, and it tells us what role we ought to play in a particular social context context and so that's what we do it's a lot easier to change what we perceive as this this external you know system or structure of government or whatever that is in control that needs to be changed when you push it away from yourself like that you you kind of neglect that you're the one that allows that to happen your emotional state your sense of you know obedience and acceptance um, even if you're um, anti-civilization you're still feeding into the game uh, that civilization is playing uh, you're not seeing that your imagination belongs to you the thing that you use to construct an interpretation of the world belongs to you um, and that maybe constructing a view of nature that sees it all as competition um, such that pleasure and uh, satisfying lusts of various kinds becomes the only real point to life when we view nature through that lens of course we're gonna be uh, you know destroying nature and living in a way that's completely unsustainable and um, unecological uh, if I can coin a new term uh, economics has to become ecology and that also involves an internal shift in the way people experience themselves no longer as individuals competing with one another uh, and with nature but rather as part of the network that includes all others 
all of nature, all of life. You know, the planet is a single living system. We are organs on that system. Uh, we perform a particular um, function that sustains the overall um, equilibrium. And, you know, human beings, maybe it's our destiny to become the new sphere above the biosphere.